That's right. It's a major find for the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. Staff walking through a drainage ditch in the Manitoba Escarpment area uncovered the bones of us. I fact in us. Uh, let's try that again. So I fact in us. We're going to have to practice that because we're going to be saying it a lot. I fact in this is a giant predatory fish. It's about six meters long and it lived almost 80 million years ago. Tyler Schreider is with the CFDC and right now he's with us live from Winnipeg. Welcome to Canada AM. Good morning. Zyphactinus. For a while it was all about um, dinosaurs. Tell us a little bit about this big fish and why it matters so much. Sure, yeah. This is a great time to be at the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. About three weeks ago we started to seriously unearth what is quickly becoming the find of the season. We have reeled in the biggest catch of the year so far. It's a Zyphactinus fish, as you correctly put it. And uh, it's already sending shockwaves around the academic community and throughout our great country. Uh, tell us why. I mean, it's clear that it's a very, very big fish. Uh, but what else is special about it? Sure. Well, it really diversifies uh, our collection. We do have the largest collection of marine reptile fossils in all of Canada, including Bruce, the biggest mosasaur in Canada at 43 feet. What the Zyphactinus brings to us is that this find is the biggest find of the, the fish that we do have now in our collection. And it's going to, I guess, expand our academic potential and, and our drawing potential from tourism. Uh, one of the things I noticed is this, this is unusual in that there was something found in the mouth uh, of the skeleton. I think it's, is it a mosasaur? Yeah, and this is very interesting academically, uh, for sure. We did find the fin of a mosasaur that was kind of in very close proximity to the jaw of this Zyphactinus fish, and it leads to some interesting suggestions. We have a, a lot of research still ahead of us to determine what, what did occur, but what it suggests is that this gigantic fish was preying on the mosasaur, which is very atypical for us to find. What is typical is the mosasaur occupied the, the top position in the food chain and generally preyed upon the fish. So what we're seeing now is the reverse situation in which the fish may have been preying upon the mosasaur and it does suggest that they may have uh, died in some sort of fight scene. Oh my gosh, and oh, what a big scary fish that must have been. Uh, tell us a little bit about, I know it's not completely unearthed yet, but how big does it appear the skeleton is? And here's a really interesting story. Who found this skeleton? Sure, yeah. Well, we don't quite yet know what the size is going to be. We haven't uh, unearth the entire specimen. So on the conservative edge, we're saying right now 14 to 16 feet. Optimistically, it could range up to 20 feet, which would put it in the upper maximum of this type of fossil found worldwide. The fossil was found by one of our, our fossil crew at the end of 2009 as they were just passing by an embankment. Uh, they stopped and said, holy smokes, what's that poking out the side of the hill? Uh, and we, we collected it, brought it back to the museum, and throughout the course of the winter, we prepped it up and got really excited when a gigantic jawbone of this massive predatory fish emerged from the dirt and the, and the, the various minerals that were attached to it at the time. So, yeah, it was our staff that found it. We're very pleased about that. And what we've done throughout the winter is put a game plan in place. We've hired additional staffing to get out there this spring and bring this discovery to the light of day. This hasn't been seen for over 80 million years, and we're just tickled pink to pull something so fantastic out of the, out of the Manitoba soils. Unbelievable. What a wonderful story, and I'm sure it's going to bring lots of spotlight to your area, and I know that you need it. Thank you so much for, for telling us about this. It was my great pleasure.